The Liberty Latin America, Liberty Puerto Rico's parent company, announced over the weekend that the company has completed the acquisition of AT&T's operations in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. I spoke with Michelle Cantro, the owner of Puerto Rico's only all-digital, all-English website, to find out what this means for residents. So after this deal now, what does it mean for AT&T customers? So essentially, immediately, it's going to be transparent for, for AT&T customers. Basically, Liberty is taking over the assets, the network, um, and just this morning, we found out that they're taking over a million former AT&T customers in Puerto Rico and the USBI. So for now, you know, people should expect no major changes, um, you know, uh, Basically, Liberty has vowed to continue offering 5G services, which is, you know, the fast network that at and has um, been building and that they actually launched um, in the summer. So for now, that should be fine. Um, Liberty President Najee Curry put out a statement saying that they're going to continue to build, you know, more robust and resilient communication infrastructure, both in Puerto Rico and the USBI. So that's something to think about. They also said that they're keeping prices and fees in place for now. So there should be no changes in you know, uh, plans or rates. And the other thing that they confirmed is that you know, when they travel to the US, uh, AT&T customers will still get uh, a signal without roaming charges. Um, so that's important as well. People were concerned about whether they would have to pay to be able to connect in the US. They're going to be connected to the AT&T network as well. That's perfect. And I did see that they also um, won't have to change their phone number either. They can keep the same cell number when they travel to the U.S. Right, right, right. And the one thing that we should mention as well, um, you know, there are certain services that won't be available anymore, like, you know, on the site services, like, for example, AT&T Thanks, that's not going to be offered anymore, as well as some of the streaming services that, that uh, were currently offered. Those will be discontinued. Uh, and prepaid customers, this is also important, prepaid customers will also be migrated to a new subsidiary, which is going to be known as Liberty Mobile. Liberty Mobile. That name, Liberty Mobile, yes. So that's what people are going to be migrated into. It's important also to say that Liberty is keeping the rights to use the at and brand for about a year, because that's how long they expect the transition, you know, the rebranding to take place. So we'll be seeing that name for a while. Gotcha. So what does this mean for, what about business customers? So in response to conditions established by the U.S. Department of Justice, this was about two weeks ago that we found out about this, Liberty had to sell a segment of its business division. And the buyer is WorldNet Telecommunications. Um, there aren't that very many details about that transaction yet because that also has to go through the approval process from the FCC and from the Department of Justice. Um, it seems that that could take about three to five months to happen. So, um, you know, the, the thought process is that we'll know more as it moves forward because it was a condition that even Najee Curry from Liberty says wasn't expected. So that's running parallel to what's happening with AT&T and Liberty. Um, so, you know, the, it's hard to tell <laughs> what the impact will be for business customers right now. Yeah. But it, it should remain the same, like for residential and, you know, other customers. They're saying everything is transparent. So, you know, it remains to be seen in that sense. Yes. And Liberty really emphasized how they do want to make this a smooth transition and keep it as transparent with its customers as possible, too, which I think is awesome. So that's important because it really does affect them. Well, yeah, I mean, Liberty, and the, um, excuse me, uh, AT&T, we just found out, had about a million wireless subscribers in Puerto Rico and Latin America. So that's a pretty um, significant number of people that will go through this transition into what will be Liberty Mobile. Um, so the other thing is that AT&T is also going to be keeping DirecTV and certain other global business customers. And also, they're going to be keeping the first net build out responsibilities now for those you know who don't, aren't familiar with it first net is the network and the service that at and is building out to first responders so eligible first responders subscribing to first net in puerto rico and the usbi will still have access to the benefits and the capabilities um which you know includes always on priority um, service to them on the platform and if you would like to find out more 
on the deal, you can of course not only do so at OneCaribbeanTelevision.com, but also at Michelle's website right there on your screen at NewsIsMyBusiness.com. More of One Caribbean News will be back after this break. 